from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. Despite the ongoing vaccination program, there's increasing concern among health officials that we could be on the verge of a third wave of the coronavirus and the actions of some people not helping the situation. The Tribune reporting today on an event on Cabbage Beach on Sunday evening which shows hundreds of young people gathered, most of them not wearing masks, with very little social distancing. Health officials fear events like this could help trigger that feared third wave, and they're making recommendations on how to handle this. The numbers from late last week showed an increase in cases, especially in Grand Bahama and the capital. The numbers for Sunday settling a bit, with 15 total cases reported for the country spread over six islands, nine of them in the capital. Infectious diseases specialist Dr. Nakia Forbes. We're observing that in Grand Bahama, Abaco, and New Providence. And that is extra concerning because when there is a sustained increase in the number of cases, this could be an indication that we're on the cusp of a third wave. Prevention is the public health instructions. Vaccination is an important part of prevention now but it takes time to get immune from vaccinations, and we're not there yet. There are 31 persons in hospital being treated for COVID, two of them in the ICU. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. The country's health unions are among those urging the government to take steps now to prevent a third wave of the virus. Nurses Union President Amantia Williams says the union would not be against tighter restrictions to help prevent that. Meantime, the vaccination rollout continues. Religious leaders and Defense Force officers among those getting their first shots yesterday. Major drug bust reported by agents. They seized an estimated $3 million worth of cocaine from a plane that landed at Eleuthera. Police are holding two men in connection with the incident. Several Cuban nationals are being held at the Carmichael Road Detention Center after they were picked up in the southern Bahamas on Sunday. Another traffic fatality in the islands, this one in Abaco Sunday night. A vehicle spun out of control on the SC Boodle Highway near Cabbage Hill and flipped. There were two persons in that vehicle. The driver was ejected and died at the scene. A male passenger in hospital with injuries. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, mostly sunny and warm again. Highs from the low to mid-80s, 83 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 85 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. The next tide is a high around 10 this morning. Next low about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines, the World Health Organization releasing its report on the origins of the coronavirus, concluding that it probably started in bats, transferred to animals, and then to humans. The WHO also pushing for a global pandemic treaty. In the U.S., health officials are warning that too many Americans are declaring victory over the virus too soon, and that could be a problem down the road. That giant container ship has now been cleared from the Suez Canal, and the shipping lane is now open again. Hundreds of ships had been blocked for several days. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 481, Esso up 28 cents to 4.85, Ruiz up 11 cents to $4.85 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Easter weekend coming up. No Carifta games, but there is a local event you may want to check out. Read the details in the Tribune Sports. There's a John Quell Jones update in the Tribune Sports. More success for her in the Russian Basketball League. 
Suddenly, the Sacramento Kings are hot in the NBA. They won in San Antonio last night, make it five wins in a row. Buddy Heal had 20 points in that game. And get the latest of the college basketball tournament in the U.S., known as March Madness, now down to the Final Four. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.